Hi everyone, my name is Lily Zhou and I'm the host tonight for tonight's show to in interview the candidate for City Council District 7 in San Diego, Noli Zoza. Thank you for having me, Lily. I'm glad to be here. Recently, I think I just read the news about you being the number one candidate yes. ever mm -hmm. raised more than $100,000. Yes, uh, my campaign um, raised uh, over almost $120,000, which is the most for any San Diego City Council candidate, um, uh, more than the sitting uh, San Diego City Council President, Georgia Gomez. So we have someone that one of the most powerful people in San Diego and I outraised, uh, I outraised her um, as a first time candidate. So I was very pleased with that. And I was able to get a lot of support from, from that, from and generate a lot of great headlines from that. I think it's because of what you have done for the community mm -hmm. and for being who you are. And so please let us know, uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so um, I grew up in um, Huntington Beach, California. Okay. Uh, we were very close to Little Saigon. Uh, Westminster was right next door, uh, Westminster and Garden Grove. So we had a group around a, lot, a, a large Vietnamese community in Orange County. So I had a lot of friends that, um, some of my best friends were Vietnamese growing up. Uh, my parents immigrated here for, in 1969 Mm. Uh, from the Philippines. Yes. So my sister, my dad is a pediatrician, but my sister was born in Canada. She was actually uh, an Olympic gymnast for Canada um, wow. in 1984. So there was no this, way. Yeah. Wow. So there was a lot of expectations in our family, just like a lot of Asians, where um, uh, uh, success uh, for the children is mandatory. So there was a lot of high um, expectations for us as children. So when I uh, moved down to San Diego in 1990, I attended the University of San Diego, okay. where I attended the um, University of San Diego to attend my law, my undergrad and law degrees. Um, nice. So that's where I started. I, I've been in this community since 1990. Wow, and mm -hmm. I, you also, you're a business owner too. Yes, yes, so I am a partner in a restaurant group called Dirty Birds. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three locations in San Diego. Uh, we have two more on the way. We have locations in Pacific Beach, in College Area, mm. uh, Liberty Station, and two more locations on the way in Ocean Beach and on the campus of UCSD. So we will have a total of 200 employees by this time next year. So we're very, very wow. proud of that. Uh, we're known Great for job. the best chicken wings in San, Die in San Diego. Top 10 in the country, believe it or not according to Yahoo. I'll try it and then I'll let you know. Okay, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love our chicken wings. We have 37 flavors of chicken wings. Very good. So you were born here and yes. share with us why are you running for the city council after so many years? Because I know yeah. you did a lot of things for the community and yes. you joined a lot of boards. Yeah. So. I started my, my work in the community when I was in law school working in Linda Vista. That's the community that I uh, am in. Uh, I worked in Bayside Community Center, which okay. uh, helping people with their legal issues, mm -hmm. low income residents uh, with their legal issues, especially their housing issues, because there was a lot of, uh, we had a lot of uh, Vietnamese and Latinos that were having a lot of issues with their, their, their housing. And I would help them uh, with those issues and make sure that they didn't get taken advantage of by uh, unscrupulous landlords and, and um, apartment owners mm -hmm. and make sure their, their rights were defended and they didn't get taken advantage of. So I, that's where I really developed a passion for community work and helping the my community. And after that, years later, I became involved in just 17 different boards and commissions with the city. Mm -hmm. I am on the City of San Diego Parks and Recreation Board. I'm on the City of San Diego Mobility Board, the Parking Advisory Board. I'm chairman of the Linda Vista Planning Group. I'm on the YMCA board of directors. So I really, really have a passion for helping um, our community and I have a passion for the city. That's why I'm running. I think it really shows that's why you have so much, uh, yeah. you know, donations because yeah. I think when the community knows that uh, you're running yes. and everybody just went out there and support you. Yeah, I, I proved myself the last, you know, over the 20 years and just proving myself as a business leader and a community leader where people just started believing me and saying, Noli, we need leaders like you to step up and, and help run this city because we, we are in dire need of really good leaders, especially Asian leaders. We don't have really good representation here in the city government and not enough Asian representation. 
and, and I hope to, to be a leader and um, represent our community and, and San Diego City Government. Do you have any plans that um, when you elect it, mm -hmm. that you will do for the, com for the communities? Yeah, there's a few things, uh, especially for the Vietnamese community. It's such a, uh, a large population in San Diego. I believe there's what, 55,000 Vietnamese and uh, Americans in, in San Diego, and they need to be represented. Based on the censor 10 years ago. Yes, absolutely. So, I'm sure that's grown. And yes. that is, um, and, they, and they need a voice. And we need Vietnamese, that, uh, the Vietnamese community, to serve in city government. And so I plan to, to really approach Vietnamese leaders and get them appointed to city boards and commissions and get them oh leadership positions. Mm -hmm. And so we can breed those leaders and get those, that experience that we need. Um, that they need in order to learn how the city operates and give a voice to the Vietnamese community. But they do it in Orange County. The, the Vietnamese um, community has had great leaders running and getting elected in Orange County. So why not here in San Diego? Uh, and I want to help uh, breed those next generation leaders, Vietnamese leaders in San Diego. It's going to be amazing, yeah, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also tell us a little bit about you know, for the issues that you have in your district, that yeah. how are you going to tackle them? Yeah, there's, there's 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 such pressing needs here in this city. the The issue of homelessness in in San Diego and in all the big cities. Like I, I'm running because I don't want our beautiful city of San Diego to turn into Los Angeles or San Francisco or Seattle when it comes to those issues like homelessness and. And not being uh, unaffordable housing. That is, San people Francisco can't afford. San Francisco is notorious. Yeah, for, for sure. Having a horrible homeless problem and, and having a housing issue that where people can't afford to live in the city. And that's what San Diego is heading to, where people can't afford to live in the city. And, and we didn't even make sure that we build enough housing to make sure that people can afford to, to live here uh, and enjoy living here. So uh, I want to make sure our neighborhoods are safe and, and our neighbor and our, so our families have a safe place to raise their children and, and fix our infrastructure, our streets, our roads, our highways to make sure that our traffic mm -hmm. um, and our commutes aren't as bad because right now they're just, God, our commutes are getting longer and longer from work, aren't they? Uh, yes, Over yes. these last few years. And I wanna, make, I wanna help make our commutes shorter for our families so people can spend more time with their families. You're very genuine and very passionate. I yeah. think the community mm -hmm. needs you and you're a great leader. Thank you. So for the, uh, when we talk about, you know, you, you think about the AI and the uh, technology that is yeah. going to substitute many jobs. Yeah. So what do you think, you know, for your district, mm -hmm. you know, when you elect it, yeah. that what are you gonna do for the district, uh, for the, co you know, that the community? Yeah, that's, that's oh, a great question. Oh, tell us what, Mm -hmm. Tell us your, your community. Yeah, so our, the community of, of Linda Vista is a... You have Linda Winston? Lin oh, yeah, the, commu the, the district that I'm running in is yes. Sara Mesa, okay. Linda Vista, Mission Valley, okay. uh, Tierra Santa, Del Cerro, San Carlos, Ally Gardens, uh, Granville and uh, MCS Miramar. It's a big, big district. It is. Yes. Uh -huh. And you so have a mix issues. of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, professions and... Yes. Incomes and yes, it's it's so diverse. I mean, Mission Valley is undergoing a state of flux with so much new development and new housing. We have SDSU West that's going to redo the the uh, the, the the stadium site. Yeah. And then the Riverwalk Golf Course is going away, so that's going to be a new development. And uh, Linda Vista, my community, which I'm very proud of, is is we need more affordable housing for our residents. And okay. I want to preserve the multicultural fabric of our community, the working class community of Linda Vista. And I want to preserve that and um, work with the city on redeveloping our, our beautiful community and hopefully maintain our, our residents um, in, in, in Linda Vista and not have to have them move away because it's becoming un unaffordable. I think you need to create a lot of jobs for them. Yes, yes. So, so uh, we have plans where... A lot of dirty birds. Yeah, a lot of dirty <laughs> birds are going to create more jobs, but... Yeah. The thing that you know I've been really passionate about is really thinking outside the box and coming up with new solutions. Yes. And so instead of relying on the government for solutions, we need to really look to the private industry, private sector for, for the answers. Yes. And look to great institutions for to answer some of our societal um, problems. So 
Um, I'm using institutions like the University of San Diego, mm -hmm. which has it's a beautiful campus, one of the most beautiful in, in the country, as a matter of fact. But they we are using their resources to benefit our low income community of, of San Diego. So through grants um, and donors, we're getting we're we're creating programs like small business programs where we have the School of Real Estate and the School of Business working with the local businesses mm -hmm. in Linda Vista and other uh, uh, low-income communities to help the business owners yeah. with um, how to operate their business and how to market their business and get them up to a certain level uh, uh, and get the credentials where they can pursue bigger contracts and, and um, with the city. So that's what I'm passionate about is helping those low-income uh, businesses, especially the ones right there in Linda Vista, on Linda Vista Road, we've got a lot of Vietnamese-owned businesses, right? So it, it, it's, it was known as Vien Dong uh, for the longest time. Now it's called <laughs> SF. Uh, I can't pronounce it, but that's it's wow. all those are Vietnamese-owned businesses, and we need to help those businesses flourish and and and, uh, and be successful. And if we can we can uh, partner with great institutions like the University of San Diego and other big companies to help those businesses and uh, succeed. And I want to be a part of that. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited about the future and I'm, I'm excited about coming up with new solutions for, mm -hmm. for this, for the city. Um, because I, I, I just, people just get complacent on just relying on government. Oh, we, you know, we come from governments that are corrupt, you know, and you know, as immigrants, we're told to just rely on ourselves and not rely on the government for, for solutions. And uh, that's what I uh, really an advocate for, and uh, really sparking the entrepreneurial spirit of the Vietnamese community, the Asian community, um, to to really make our our um, our communities proud and successful. That's that's what I want to help our the Vietnamese community with. And it really shows because I mm -hmm. have never met anyone yeah. so passionate and so generous and so giving yes. in uh -huh. my life. So yeah, I, I, I gosh, just when I when I see the, the 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 Asian candidates that want to that want to run, I'm so excited. And I want to help um, those candidates, and I, I want other Asians represented because it makes our because we're we're great leaders, we're great business leaders. But now we got to be great political leaders. And great community leaders, and I want to I want to help um, our community um, breed the next generation of those leaders. I think for the uh, I hope the you know the audience, everyone, yeah. if you you know go to your your website and yeah. get to know Noli and know what he's passionate about and know what he can do for you. Yeah. It's amazing, and then let all your neighbors and your friends and your customers and everybody <laughs> just let them know vote for Noli. Thank you so much. Right? Thank you so much. Yeah, so. I, uh, my website is www.noli2020.com. That's my website and you can find out all the different uh, beliefs I have and my, my solutions to solve problems mm -hmm. and all the different endorsements I've had. I've been endorsed by the San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner and wow. the Sheriff of San Diego County Bill Gore and Chairwoman of the County Board of Supervisors Diane Jacob, um, and and Republicans and Democrats. I've I've, I've endorsed my independents. I'm getting people to believe in me because they know my heart and they know that I'm running for the right reasons, and um, and I'm passionate about really solving our city's issues because they're going to be tough issues in the, in the upcoming years, and we need leaders that are up for it. And I believe that I'm up uh, I'm up for the job. We'll be following you too, definitely, <laughs> because we'll hold you accountable. Yes, I want to be so, held accountable. Yes, um, because we need to hold our leaders accountable and uh, make sure that just all the things they promised during the campaign they actually fall through yep. when they're actually governing. Okay, Very so that's good. that's what I'm all about, and I'm excited about working with uh, with the Vietnamese community to help solve those problems uh, going forward. Because, uh, like I said, I've, I've been very close to the Vietnamese community in Orange County when I grew up in my home community of Linda Vista, uh, which where we have a vibrant Vietnamese community. So, and I, I'm also chairman of the, I'm not chairman, I'm a parade director of the Linda Vista Multicultural Affairs. So I work with a lot of the Vietnamese organizations in San Diego and make sure they're represented. In, I think in, a lot of them know you, the leaders. Yeah, yeah the leaders. And yes. uh, so I want to work with those leaders. And okay. uh, I'm proud to work with those leaders. So. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, what Lily. A great honor. Yes. And audience, please um, get to know Lily and see what he can do for you and yeah. vote for him. Thank yeah. you.